And we found an entire block party devoted to robots. It was put on by Stanford, and it might get you your next job. Some of the robots we saw can dance. <laughs> Others respond to your touch and to the movements of your body. He started as a research robot used in autism therapy settings, where the cameras in the eyes and the microphone in the nose allow a therapist in another room to interact with children in a playroom through a simpler body. But whether they're small or big, they all serve a purpose here at Stanford's third annual Robot Block Party, a chance to gawk, and glimpse into the future. Using the joystick, they can press the buttons and then watch the program in action. Like a video game. Like a video game. Except they're actually doing the coding and then they can actually see the lines of code. Yes, this being Stanford, there is a larger purpose here. The robots will follow you around, but the companies represented hope students will follow them to their next career. And like any other new industry uh, that's growing fast, it's going to need people to be working. And they're actually really great jobs, everything from marketing to engineers, software programmers. So if you're looking for a job with a lot of reach, you might have a ball with robotics.